Hello, I'm Claire and this morning we are joined by Thea Randall who's going to show us an Italian style brunch recipe. I sure am and I'm going to show you how to make the most delicious brunch. I'm going to do a potato rosti. So you've got this beautiful Italian sausages which are seasoned with fresh pork and salamis and the hocks of prosciutto. So you've got lots and lots of flavour. I'm going to do the crispiest pancetta in these amazing pans. We're going to griddle some uh, flat cap mushrooms. I've got these beautiful marinda tomatoes. They are I mean, stunning. look at those. And then I'm going to do my recipe for scrambled eggs, but you're going to show me how it's done in the oven, which I I've am never seen before. Totally scared. Okay. I'm sure it'll be fine. So let's start <laughs> with the uh, rosties. Right, so we've got our, our potato there grated. So we're just going to season this. Now I'm not going to wash the potatoes. We want that starch because the starch is going to make the potato go all kind of crisp on the outside and sort of soft and gooey in the middle. Put it straight in. Now we've got the Italian sausages. Now we've got a lovely hot griddle pan. Now this thing is rather impressive. So it doesn't sit directly on induction, it just sort of, it's just slightly raised. Yeah, so this dish here is actually sat directly on the plate, but there's some nice little feet that protect the glass. Okay. But if you want to, you can take those feet off and it can work on a gas hob too. Okay, so I've got some mushrooms here. Again, I'm just gonna put a bit of olive oil on them. Now I've got these Mirinda tomatoes. Now, if you can't find these, just regular plum tomatoes are good. As yeah. long as they're nice and ripe, they're absolutely fine. Right, so let's take our potato rossi. So that's coming together nicely. You can see it's moving within the pan as one. Can't yeah, you now? yeah. And then start moving that around using the fork again. Just push down. The next thing, I guess, is the scrambled eggs. So um, butter in a bowl. Butter, yes. So your recipe requires you to melt it on the hob. That's correct. But what we're going to do is we're going to use the oven this time. Yeah. And I know people do make scrambled eggs using microwaves. Yeah. But again, you know, microwaves do draw that moisture out and sometimes you can get quite a dry scrambled egg. Yeah. So we're going to combine the microwave with some steam yeah. to make sure we get those really creamy, really moist um, scrambled eggs. So we're going to pop them into the oven. Um, melting the butter first, as you said, yep. and we're going to use this combined function of steam and microwave. Okay. Now that's going to take a little bit of time to preheat, but of course it's using steam, so we need to add some water into the oven. So I've got my jug of water, this little spout has just popped out of the oven to remind <laughs> me, it says it in the display. I'm thirsty. Yep. And the oven will take in just the right amount, but a little bit more, just in case we need to extend the cooking time. So the steam is going to basically make, give a bit of aeration to the eggs. Yeah, and, it's going to keep them moist. Them light. Yeah. yeah, it's going to stop all of that moisture that the microwave, you know, does draw out because of the way in which it works and cooks things faster. Yeah. So how is it looking over here? So let's look at these sausages. So we'll just turn the sausages over so they get a nice bit of griddle mark on oh, them. Oh, I love the stripe. And the nice thing about using this grill pan, griddle pan is it's going to add so much flavour. Again, it's non-stick, so nothing gets stuck on there. We'll pop the pancetta in, and Ooh. what you'll see is you'll start to see it start to melt. Yeah. The fat is going to make it all going to go crispy. Yeah. So the steam's developed in the oven, so it says it's ready to put the food in. Okay. So I'm just going to pop the door open. You can see wow. that steam coming yeah. out. Okay. Ready? Yeah. And now we're going to introduce some of that microwave as well as the steam. So let's pop the door shut. And in about a minute's time, we'll just double check it, give it a little ruffle like you would if you were doing it in a pan. Mm. But of course, you know, you want to interrupt the microwave to give it that fluff. The mushrooms are ready, so I'll put the mushrooms on there now. We'll check the eggs because I can see they're starting to ruffle around the edges. So give that a little mix. Oh, it's lovely, isn't it? They're really light. OK, there we go. and we'll go again. I'm going to take the rosti off now because the rosti is ready. So we'll just pop that onto the pan. Uh, take the sausages off. So these sausages are cooked, I can tell. So they go on. I think we're done. Wow. So it will be a little hot because we've had the steam. But you can see eggs. how lovely and creamy they've stayed and lovely and, and moist. There we have the most perfect brunch, whether it's a Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, whenever you want to have it. That is a, a lovely brunch with potato rosti, we've got crispy pancetta, we've got grilled tomatoes, we've got grilled mushrooms, Italian sausages, and that amazing rosti, which is one of my favorite things in the world, with some of your scrambled eggs. Oh, Mm -hmm. Delicious.